Yo guys, what's up? Here today with the daily trade. Uh, this is an options trade um, I'm using for income. My objective here is to make 50% of what I sell these for. So here we go. Uh, you can see my portfolio now. The one for yesterday was Fubo. And you can see we're already making a pretty nice little profit on that one. So... Uh, when it's about 50%, I'll think about closing it out, see where we're at. All right. So I'm going to go to quote. Uh, today I'm going to do workhorse group. Uh, let's look at the chart. So you can see here, they have been up pretty high, up to 40. And they've gapped down on some bad news. They lost a major contract with the post office to a uh, Oshkosh Ford uh, combo and uh, so they're way down at 15. Now if we go back it's broken through a couple of support levels already um, you can see you can see it's broken through this support level here at 23 or so it's broken through 20 uh, there's one at 16, which is broke through almost. It's, it's still there. But the major support here is at 15. And if it breaks through the 15 support level, the bottom's a limit. So it's gone all the way down, potentially. So uh, I think I want to put my put at 16 or 15. So if you want a little more risk, reward, go at 16. You want to be a little safer go at 15. so here's here's how i'm going to play it so i'm going to do 16. nope i'm going to do 16. add a leg do 15. okay so we have two so far right so it's about 300 bucks. That's what my goal is. So I have one at 15 and one at 16. All right, but that's not that's not good enough. Let's go. Let's keep going. As I said, if it goes breaks below 15, it's going way down. So I want to get some protection. At uh, let's say. See, at 12, it's 33, 11, uh, let's go 10. Let's do a little spread at 10. Okay. So now we got the 10, and that decreased our, to, to 285, our profit potential. So what I'm going to do is I want to go into 15, and I crank that up to 2. Now we're at 4. So I want to put a full spread. Oops. There we go. So now I'm fully covered. I have three. I've bought three puts at ten dollars. So if they just completely go out of business by March nineteenth, which very unlikely, but it'll also uh, increase my buy, decrease the amount of buying power that I have. Uh, so I can do more options trades. <clears throat> then I'm selling uh, one at 16, which is a little higher risk, and then one and then two at 15, which is where the real support level is. So if it breaks through the 16 support level, it'll rest on the 15, hopefully, and it won't break below that. So it seems like a pretty good trade. Uh, you can see the risk reward chart. Uh, I got the break even at. 161 and 14 1407. So I can go as low as 1407, I'll still make money. That's pretty good. I'll, I'll take it. Because we don't expect it to go below 15, or not much below 15. Because that's where the support is. So, all right, this is it. Confirm. Send. Oops. 
<clears throat> okay. And it filled for 379. Nice. Okay. You can see the Fubo I have working just in case it really spikes up or something. Close it out for some quick money. All right, here we are. You can see workhorse. I've already made a dollar fifty. How awesome is that? <clears throat> All right, guys. Anyway, uh, please subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the notification bell if you want to see more options trades. Uh, next one will be tomorrow. Uh, I'll still be in this account the rest of the week, uh, aiming for three hundred dollars profit. I think uh, next week I switch to my other account, and I'm actually going to be going for four hundred dollars of uh, profit next week, uh, or fifty percent of that is uh, where I consider closing. So anyway, guys, um, please uh, join me for this uh, options journey that I'm on, and uh, you can see my available dollars here have gone down each day. I'm at a 1952. So, see how this goes. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching.